Hi students, welcome back. Moving on to the next part of our lesson, we are supposed to add and subtract our fractions with related denominators. Okay, what do you what do you mean by related? Basically, when we say related denominators, means uh, the, the the denominators are um, multiples of each other. Okay, so um, so you still remember what uh, what are multiples? Like for example, the multiples of three will be three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, so on and so forth. Okay, let's move on. So now we we have this situation. Uh, just now we we did addition of fractions with our same our same denominator, but now we have different denominator. But the good thing is, if you look at five and ten, they are multiple, isn't it? You know, 5 is actually, uh, sorry, 10 is actually a multiple of 5. So, how do we actually get 10 from here? So, we simply need 2 times 2. Okay, the denominator 5 times 2 will give me 10. So, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do with the numerator. So, that's how we actually get 2 out of 10 plus 1, 10. So, when we, come, when we arrive at this situation, isn't this uh, the same as what we did earlier on? Both fractions... Have same denominator so we can add the numerator so 2 plus 1 is 3 that's how you get 310 as the answer okay, moving on next question 9 10 plus 3 5 so look at this again oh 10 and 5 oh 10 is actually a multiple of 5 so again how do I get similar denominator I simply need 2 times 2 to the denominator and whatever I do to the denominator I do to the numerator so that's how I get 9 10 plus 610 and that's when I can add the numerator together 15 out of 10 and 15 out of 10 we know that by simplifying okay because one whole is 10 out of 10 minus 10 from 15 you actually get 510 and for those people who want to further develop your skills you have been taught how to simplify your fraction like this 5 and 10 both are divisible by 5 so when you divide by 5 top and uh, the numerator and denominator you actually get 1 and 2, that's how you get 1 whole, one and a, uh, one whole and a half, okay? Next one, so 1 quarter minus 1 twelfth, again, oh, 4 and 12 are related, because 12 is a multiple of 4, so how do we get 12 here? So we simply need 2 times 3 to the numerator, <coughs> sorry, denominator, and whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do with the numerator, that's how you get 3, 3 12 minus 1 12. 3 minus 1, you get 2. That's how you get 2 12. And both numbers can be divided by 2. That's how you get 1 6. Okay? So, one more. One more example here. What about 5 6 plus 7 12? So, we know that 12 is a multiple of 6. So, we need to times 2 to the denominator. Likewise, you've got to do the same to the numerator. That's how you get 10 12. Plus 7 12, I get 17 12. From here again, we know that 1 whole is 12 12. Minus 12 from 17, that's how we get 5. So we get on the end result is 1 whole 5 12. Isn't this easy? Okay. So please complete page 65. Uh, do contact me on direct message if you encounter any difficulty. I'll see you next week in school. Have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you complete the two pages of um, addition and subtraction of fraction activities. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.